I'm referring to the workers here in this center, in this conference center, and also the workers on the streets of Rome. The police, women and men, the security officers, to all of them, from all of us, a sincere thank you. We'd also like to thank all of you for the thoughtfulness, the good spirit, and above all, the constructive attitude you've shown over the past two days. It wasn't easy. The Sherpas have done an extraordinary work over the past few weeks. We must thank all of us. We must thank them. The past few years had inflicted severe damages to our ability to work together. The health workers and the doctors who stood with us in our family photo are a powerful reminder of what all of us have gone and are still going through for some of us. But this summit gives me the confidence that we can restore the ties that bind us in the interest of the entire global community. As President Biden said, we want to remember the summit as the one where we succeeded. And indeed, if we look back at the last year, because this, these two days have only been the final step of a year long of work, hard work. We've reformed the international tax system. We've overcome protectionism in medical goods, secured more vaccines for the world's poorest. We've worked with the IMF, as just been recalled a moment ago, ensuring the $650 billion in special drawing rights and other pledges. We were able, and here I have to thank especially the President of the European Commission, to launch a significant effort to cope with the humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan. And then we continue the fight, the commitment in the fight to climate change for the benefit of current and future generations. So what's the success of this summit? Well, G20 countries committed to keeping the 1.5 target within reach with a series of immediate actions and medium-term commitments. We've decided to put coal behind us, starting with uh, the international public commitment to eliminate finance for the new unabated coal that we, all this finance will stop by 2021. Moreover, all G20 countries will commit to net zero emissions by mid-century. And we've moved much closer to the goal of reaching the $100 billion in climate finance to support vulnerable countries. We are now quite close, and as President Macron said, we can use the SDR allocations to fill any remaining gap. I'm glad to announce that Italy will nearly triple its finance commitment to $1.4 billion a year for the next five years to this effort. We are proud of these results, but we must remember that it's only the start. We have lots of crises, the health and climate, the global poverty, the malnutrition, gender and generational inequalities demand stronger action that we've taken so far. So I ask myself, what do we mean when we say we've succeeded? But in what we succeeded? Well, we certainly pledged considerable resources. We also kept uh, many of these commitments. We increased their strength, their scope. But mostly, we made sure that our dreams as the Secretary General of the United Nations are not only alive, but also that they are progressing. Now, as Mark said, we must focus on implementation, implementation, because rest assured, we will be judged by what we do, not what we say. As, by the way, many of the activists, which, by the way, I thank, I thank uh, because they sort of pushing us, they keep us all on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the job. Uh, but all of them are saying that they are tired of this blah, 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 which means talk without substance. I think this summit actually filled with some substance our, our speeches. Our in, our finally, uh, we, are, we are all aware that our credibility, both as individual countries and as a group, depends on our actions. 
So finally, I would like to thank, uh, Boris is gone, so I'll thank the United Kingdom uh, for all, uh, uh, and I wish him uh, the best COP26 that started today. And I think this summit should have given you, I think has given you a good platform to work on. Finally, it is now my great pleasure to hand over the G20 presidency to President Widodo. I wish Indonesia all the best in the coming year, and I trust that under your leadership, we will manage to, quote, recover better, recover stronger, as the motto of your presidency says. Thank you all.